Kulu and Big <laughs> Big and Nerd. We need to learn the names from the other teams from other countries. Yesterday we have seen Egger losing against the Finnish team from Hesu. Just 1-0, uh, but was a super tough game. We have also seen Budweis playing yesterday. Um, against, let me check this out on the stream. Against the Golds, winning 5-2. You remember it was both teams played a super tough last or previous match. Um, the, the Czech team, they lost a bit like the concentration at the ending against the Australians from or the Golds team from Australia and then they received two more goals almost to the end of the match. Here needs to be they need to be here definitely more concentrated against this critical playing Egge team. We remember we have seen Egge playing against uh, Finland with a lot of like trick styles and team play. Let's see if they can do this again here in this match. Um, the Turkish team here playing with jerseys and the Czech team in blue here. Uh, with the naked upper body, and here we see the first attack here from the open side. And, and now it's number 12, Ikin. But well defended uh, so far from the losing, Chechen. losing the ball. And but you which or but vice, but vice, yeah, it's easier for us. But next time we will learn the names and learn the other language. Here's a struggle. So going to the surface, we don't see it, but both teams have team members under the struggle for the next opportunity to go ahead, start the counter attack or just go on with the attack on the basket of Budweiss. Egg University with a chance, but that was the other team member. So the attack is stopped at that time, counter attack not going forward, struggling in the middle of the field. Egg University is Still, it's going backward, forward, backward, forward. You can see a bit that the that at least the Turkish team is playing a bit more on the half of the of their Budweiss team. Nevertheless, we're playing here for more than two minutes and have not seen like, the first good scoring chance so far. Maybe we see here right yes. now with the 99. And there is missing another team Turkey, player uh, from. Berka Mert here with this hard physical swimming there. Now, can you see the team members? Now he's seen me. And Semi Özer here with the first super nice chance to score against Budweiss. And now this also trick pass was super great here. Defend is doing well. Against Semi. De and they're playing up and down and here it is. And defend was and doing well but great. finally they yeah. lost. And Budweiss again score. we have seen like starting the attack from Berkan Mert with his physical swimming towards the ball, then he passed the ball to Semi Urser. He tried to score it first, but he missed and he put the ball on the other side, got the ball back and he put the ball another time on the other side. And then finally it was Togar Hakan, Togar the captain, who scored here the 1-0 against Budweiss yeah. after two and a half minutes. To be fair, you should have the surname from Berkamert as well, so yeah. you can spell Suri... Oh, yes. Suri, <laughs> Suri Kokolugu, number 99. Yeah, it's like and going forward. And here we see now our Czech players trying to steal the basket, but you see the ball is too far away, maybe it was there too early. Every time you're like positioning a player on the opponent's basket, you're missing this player bringing the ball in this close to the basket as well. So here we see super physical playing. Turkish team here, massive players, they're all very heavy and also super, yeah. super well trained. It's nice to watch them, but also the Czech team here from Budweiss is looks quite well trained. We don't see here, let's say, some fat looking guys here swimming slowly through the water, but they're all super agile, super physical, super, super fast. And here again, ah. this pass starts from the Turkish team is quite famous here up, up to the last days. Yeah, but it was before more him. white than blue in the at the Budweis, uh, at the Egi University's basket down, so Budweis couldn't succeed. Now we see again from Budweis a really good defend. At least the playing stacking a bit now. This is also so you see 
we've recognized the last games that Turkey is sometimes trying to make a certain level of blind passes that just know maybe they made they discussed and argued who's going to be where and then sometimes they're just dropping the ball um, just to, yeah. to pretend there should be someone or there will be someone and, and the recent passes or the recent situation didn't work out so this was well done here by the Budweiss team here to defend here nevertheless we're still waiting here for the first good chance here from Budweiss so far the let's say majority of the match has taken part on the Budweiss side of the pool and now we are here stucking a bit in the midfield and we see the Turkish team here playing around this is what they're doing they're swimming they're trying to trick the opponent they want him to be confused to to not see where is the ball anymore we see here a player on the surface in the corner pretending that he's having the ball while the ball is coming from the other side of the pool now downstairs this is such a, a trick game they're trying to invent here or to start nevertheless well seen by Budweiss here and here we see the goalkeeper in attack with the Turkish player nevertheless well defended here by the captain of Budweiss who is number 15 no 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 Budweiss Number 55, Ales Petaka here, was scrapping and scrumbing the ball and bringing it to the surface. So far, more than six minutes played here in the first half. 1-0 for Ege University, scored by the captain, Hakan Toga, assistant, or assisted by his goalkeeper, Zimi Özer. And now we see here the ball in favor for the Budweiss team here in blue. So Budweiss going, but the first pass lost, ball, ball dropped. This is stopping. This was not well executed. Flow. I fully agree with that. We need to have the space, and it must be easily for them to pass it around. Recover. Something they need to more concentrate on. And here we see also the ball possession now for the Turkish team, and they immediately are entering the midfield and you see how compact they are playing how long they're staying on the water how physically they're playing they're swimming in their opponent and trying to, to, to grab the players and then pass them after this gives them more space and more time and from Eke University you really see safe ball handling like That's playing around under and backwards and without dropping and you see certain attacking patterns you quite often see this player on the open side of the field waiting to receiving the pass while the other player is coming here from the closed or even from the center of the match and also this half level attacking again here from number 99 Berkan Mert here coming from striking like initiating or they've been an initiative for oh. the attack wave and this was also this was a well <laughs> well catch or well catch from <laughs> well deserved from the, because from you in point. front definitely definitely like, he just was, was holding the ball in front of his face and he just grabbed it and said okay, quick reaction thanks a lot so. for that so both teams are to be honest both teams are <laughs> playing a high level both teams are playing on the run rugby for years both teams are like uh, having their squads for for a couple of years and also playing here um players here played on top level for years so this is quite well you see a lot of high level techniques here in, in defending and in attacking nevertheless there's a favor for the Turkish team they made the first score and they're closer to the second then Budweiss team is here uh, to score their first goal although Budweiss is really and defending now we see well and Semi again he's stealing the basket this was something he could do a even in a previous pass. match nevertheless he was not getting the ball but it's also a typical pattern so they have seen some players there trying to bring to use the, the given space by the opponents here so the Czech Republic or Budweiss really needs to take care of him not being not playing too open and here again we see an attacker but the defenders are doing a quite well job on the Budweiss side so they're lying here now and now it's 99 back on oh. again who was starting the first attack was pushing the goalkeepers head away trying here to score himself but he failed and then it was we've not seen exactly the number it, it is really impressing to see that so Hakan initiated the attack then he passed 
The ball gets to number 99, who pushed the goalkeeper initially away, then he passed on the other side of the back basket. And who finally scored, we could not see here. But there was a second goal from the open side of the oh, basket. That was a chance. Initiated by Berka Matt, number 99, who like pushed the goalkeeper's head away, but then were passing the ball on the other side of the field. This is super pity for the Czech team from Budweis, because it was almost... The, the, the half time was always gone and then now they are like with a 2-0 uh, behind. It's much more harder here to come back in the match. Let's see, so far we have not seen a super nice like uh, chance for good boys so far. Not even, That's true. Not, not even, even a close one. They have not been they're losing the ball in the middle or yeah. when they're attacking and that's something like you pay immediately for. Definitely, they're trying to keep the ball keeping the ball position but it's their passes are too unconcentrated are not they are not like how do you say they need to be more strict in what they're doing they're doing the right things but they're doing the things not well enough not well They've enough seen, for I example agree. the the, the three throw um i don't know it was a minute before we have seen the second goal they were on the surface there were no turkish player really like bringing a pressure on their uh, executor and he just were passing the ball down and it dropped to the bottom yeah. Not even one single pass without being yes, interviewed really. by someone else. Um, and this is a lack of, of concentration or a lack of like playing proper. And they need to change this in the second half to come here back to the match. So far, Aggie University 2-0 uh, in elite. We have seen one goal from um, the captain Hakan. And the second goal, we could not see who it was, but it was assisted by number 99, uh, Berkan Merv, who pushed the goalkeeper's head away and passed the ball on the other side. There was someone waiting and he was just dropping the ball into the almost empty goal so far. Again, if, if this result would be the fifth, would gaining here the fifth place at this Champions Cup, but still are 10 minutes to go with one minute left here in the halftime break. But still, Budweiss is doing a good job in the defense and that's something I saw really dense, close, and when it was looking like um, Ege University would nearly come to score. Yep. Defend what they're tackling and grabbing the ball and stopping the attack. So this is something I will maybe cover that's and that's copy that's for my training. Yeah, I'm a bit wondering right now when I'm seeing the bench of the Turkish team because I'm seeing here just three players sitting around. I don't know if some players have already left the team nevertheless or if there's some like for a toilet break or something like that. But because uh, of the team list we have more players. We know that the Turkish team they started the tournament with just eight players in the first match against Molde. Okay. The team was not complete and they lost 6-0. Um, later on with the full spot, they just lost 1-0 against the Finnish champion from Although uh, less team members. Yeah. And so. right now, back on the track, maybe it might be that they're just here with, with nine players. And yeah. there are six in the waters, three on the bench. You see a Semi Öze, who was assisting uh, the 1-0 and Ikin and the 11 on the bench. Back in the game, second half. And getting the ball Let's successful. See what well started by the Turkish team. They yeah. brought the ball from the bottom, pushed it up. So they were using all the three dimensions. Nevertheless, they could not make it immediately towards the basket. So they are now sticking you know, this two, three meters away from the basket. On the other hand, you need to consider Ege Dust. Did you score? With this score, they are fine, they are winning, they are on lead. So it's uh, up to Budweiss here to do some action. To do the, to do the job. To situation <laughs> change. <laughs> to to change do the, the job. Game. To change the game. To change, change the picture. Yeah. Do you think they still have a chance in 10 minutes? Uh, 10 minutes score? is a lot of time. And we have seen also yesterday that, for example, that the. the the Budweiss team, they were leading, I think, 4-0 four, four or 5-0 against the Golds from Australia. And then they got two quick goals. So with us, just one goal could change everything. Just imagine Budweiss yeah. would make you a fast break, a counter-attack, and would just make the 1-0, uh, the 2-1, the like an uh, upcoming goal. And it would completely change everything. And now you see again, oh, well done here by mm, Berka Mert. Number 99 was almost scoring... But the yeah. ball here was Number five. The goalkeeper defended with his head. He pushed with his head the ball 
towards the wall and decent trip in and later it was number five Khan Bakikoglu who scored the 3-0 <laughs> here in favor for Ege University from Ismail. Eight minutes left here in the second half. Quite dominating and three here. 3-0 yeah. now for Ege University. So here Quite they go. Quite clear here so far. So now it will be super hard here for the Czech team to come back. And you see here again, it was just one pass. And even this pass was intercepted here by the Turkish team. They need to play more close to this pass. It was too long. It was coming from the surface up almost to the ground. Nevertheless, the Czech team could receive or like gain the ball back. Yeah, you could use the... So, fortunately, they are still here in ball position. Nevertheless, they need to stop this swimming into the opponent here and being, being crept away. Also, a single attack here. This is too less to, to score against the Turkish team. They need to be here as a team underwater. They need to find each other. They need to pass each other. They're just starting single attacks. And this is too easy for the Turkish team here to defend. See here Hakan Tokar, the captain, is calming down the game here. Ekim with number 12 here in the midfield, and they're just waiting. They don't have pressure. There need there are three goals in at one uh, in front. So just keep the ball, just play around. Seven minutes later, they will be the champion here. They will be not champion, but winner. Yeah, of the match. winner of this match. That was in the first minutes of the second half it was to be seen that they are still keep going and don't relax on the success they already had and here another goal prepared and still Ege University has team players being at the same uh, at the right place in the right moment to keep the attack and Budweiser is doing a really well defending job but Budweiser is already struggling you see that when, when they are uh, gaining the ball when they are getting a power position at the basket the players are trying to get to the surface to breathe as fast as possible you see that they are running out of breath it is super stressful for them here that the Tur Turkish team is doing a super nice job here to, to rise the pressure uh, go to the basket so it's they're, they're gaining the ball nevertheless they, they need to go up to the surface so they are really bringing everything in the water what they have and here we see it again, just three players on the Izmir bench. So it really seems like that there are some players have left the tournament already or not playing here anymore. So initially they started with eight, now they are nine. Somewhere between they have been 12. So <laughs> it's really <laughs> it's changing hard for them. Team. But they are still successful with nine players in the water. Yeah. So this is really something to admit. And they are still. St their uh, basket and have needing air breathing there need to be a counter at From Budweis, Budweis was taking a timeout. We have five, yeah, five minutes, forty seconds left here in this match. And Budweis needs to make. And this is another great team attack, team performance. Here we've seen Ekin passing the ball towards number two, Honor Jalan, who was then trying to score from this, from the open side. And you see, this is really a proper pattern here. Well done, well played here. Now it's number six here. Who is in this goal? Ogor Ceylan, the brother, initially he was his brother with number two, then later on it was number six here, the brother who tried to score, and this is two times well defended here by the Budweis team. They've seen it coming and they could defend it before the ball dropped into the goal. They got in ball possession here and now they're having a bit, bit space and a bit time to swim nevertheless. Mm -hmm. They're too far away from each other, they're too long alone, you see it takes much too yeah. long takes too much the time are getting in position until they're starting to pass the ball at least until they have some are still also ongoing that is something i think you 
sometimes we are doing now here and hop on hop this off. Is another great team attack here. You see that this defender was missing his position. There was a big gap here in the defense, and this was used but not fully executed here by the by the Turkish team. Even the Turkish team is 3-0 in the front. They are still attacking, nevertheless, it doesn't look super physical, super engaged, more or less. They are just happy to get some chances, but also not fully willing here to make another one. So they're not that aggressive. Playing around. So they, they, have, they, had, they had some chances to, to counter, but you see in the positioning of the Turkish team, they're not playing with... So you see here on the, on the surface, for example, this is the goalkeeper. So they are all, almost with all six players in the opponent half, so at least waiting in the, in the midfield. So at least to make here a proper counter-attack against this team you need to be with two players so one player needs to swim into the goalkeeper and then passing yes. the ball through and then the other one has a real proper chance to score but you see they're too often alone this Budweiss team so at least not this is this, this may be also a reason that the Turkish team can play so offense so offense orientated um because Oh, yeah. they're coming close years again of course they're, they're coming, coming close, close but there are four, four Ismail player underwater and again, just to, she's always yeah. just seen one Turkish player. This is why they are losing. Even after after winning the ball, oh. they're making the counter attack, and they lost the ball with just one player. And now here at their own basket, they are just with one player. Also, just being with one player alone. So my question is, where are the other players here from there? In this cup, we are playing. The winner here will be the fifth of this tournament, gaining the fifth place. And almost one minute. So we are right now in the last last minute of the game is starting. Maybe hopefully we can see here a nice maybe one more good attack here from Budweis, but again ball got lost. And Turkish Always players are good movements in single person, single moments, really think this is a chance. But then the second step is missing. Yeah, the second wave it's always the players are the individual good players, but they're too often alone and other players or is three zero in favor for Ismir. Ismir is therefore Ismir is fifth gaining place five here on this thirty second Champions Cup here in Berlin two thousand nineteen and the Czech Republic Budweis team is doing sixth. Sad to say that Budweis didn't score. It would be great. Would have been great. I really wished I saw success from their side as well because it would be well deserved. They were really working hard all the time. That's and true. And defending really precisely. But then, as you said before, going.